Dental school focuses more on ABK than ABC. My name is Paul Dr. Nacho, and what does that mean? ABK, always be Krebs cycling. So much Krebs cycle in dental school, but not enough ABC, always be connecting, always be caring. How to figure out how to get out of your caves as dentist and bond with others, dental term here in the real world of dentisting. I'm so excited to kick off another business and leadership toppings, how you can learn the skills you need to succeed, survive and thrive, reduce the number of times you feel like crying inside a day. Here is my example. This is you, a dentist, crying inside because your patient won't open. Ask what their insurance covers uh, or covers or does not covers. The ring thing has fall, flying off the tooth and fallen on the ground, pings around. All these things that make us cry inside today. But my awesome sponsors today are going to help you turn you into this. Work on your dental core, your mind skills, your hand skills, and your clinical skills. So we have an awesome show dedicated to help you learn how to increase success decrease stress, and reduce the number of times you feel like crying inside a day, day, day. My first guest today is an awesome one. My first two guests, they can start their videos whenever they would like. Because in dental school, they do not teach us about money. But when you get in the real world, you find out there's a lot to know about money. So we have dental-focused accountants, uh, Ladd and Duckett. Share with us, guys, what you do to help dentists and a tip or something that's happening in the world of accounting for us to take home and use in our practices, whether we're an associate or practice owner. Bill, I think you're still muted there. Jared, I'll start with you. Yeah, for sure. So appreciate it, Paul, for having us on here. But just very, I mean, what we notice is that many dentists uh, struggle with the business side of the practice and, and just constantly feel chained to the chair. And so what our accounting firm does is we provide guidance through services that really helps that dentist, uh, you know, build the practice that supports the life they want to live. And it's so important because if you do not get cash flow, as Mark Acosta says, through your practice, it's really the oxygen of your practice. And no one really teaches us how money works inside of there. Bill, share with us what is happening exciting in the accounting world today. I know you guys get up and read accounting daily every day. <laughs> so exciting. What is something you're, you're a dentist out there, an associate dentist, practice owner. Uh, there's been so many things happening with this pandemic, PPP, yeah. IPL. What's something that's happening right now in the accounting world? You know, one thing that, that we're really working through with our clients right now, and that if you haven't done it, you should look into is whether you qualify, which you probably should for the uh, ERTC, Employee Retention Tax Credit. What we're finding is there's this really complicated, ridiculous interplay between that and the PPP. And originally you couldn't do both, but now they'll let you do that. So, you know, you kind of need to see if you qualify for that because that's a really nice credit that could come out there. Uh, and usually what we're finding is, is it really doesn't interfere with the PPP because they've extended the use period of the PPP so long that you can kind of qualify for both. So that's something if you haven't done it, everybody should be going out and talking to their CPA to see if, it, if they do qualify. And if they like, do, they should take advantage of it. I like to hear that. But I feel like this is a game with my six-year-old making the rules up as they go along. They just push for back sure. today, right? Tax days yeah. were pushed back, Jared, till when is that now? Yeah, so it got pushed back from 415 to May 17th. Is that right, Bill? 517, yep. yeah. That's like I say to my patients, the lab is not done with your case. We need to push it back. But they did that with tax <laughs> Now, well, guys that, That's what happens when they, they make rules on December 27th. Oh. You know, there's not a whole lot of time to implement that because you got to think, not only do they make it, then it has to be approved. The forms have to be changed by the IRS and then it has to go to the software and they have to approve it. I mean, it's a huge, ridiculous cycle that just causes so much uh, confusion and delay. Do you ever watch Thomas the Tank Engine with your kids, Paul? All the time. He would say, they'd always say, could cause confusion and delay. And that's that's what these, these guys tend to do for us. But you know what? Most of it's designed to help Biz, uh, practices that are struggling because of COVID. And uh, there's some good stuff in there as well that, that really does help them if they need it. And I, and I think it's great to share kind of what's happening now in this season of accounting during a pandemic. But let's just talk about my little, uh, you know, drawing here from this to this, you know, what's a fundamental thing? We, we at Dental Notches, we get a lot of associates that want to be practice owners. So if you could share with us a tip, you're an associate, you've been an associate for five years, what are some things you should be thinking about as you evaluate a practice? Know if you have the right leadership skills. It's an overwhelming proposition. If they told people what it took to be parents before they were parents, nobody would sign up for it. So there's tons <laughs> of figuring it out as you go along, but there's also things you can do to prepare, like purchasing a crib, making sure you have coverage for this. So Jared, I'll go with you. What's something, you're an associate out there, what's something you can think about to get yourself into practice ownership, to make sure you do it with success and don't burn your nachos? 
Yeah, for sure. What I would say is, so your example, you've been an associate for five years and you're learning the technical skills that you've learned in, in, in business uh, in schooling, but now you're performing them, you're getting comfortable with them. But one thing you're probably not doing is understand the business side of dentistry. You know, how financial statements work, how the cash flow generates in the practice, how much cash flow is going to come out of the practice. That's stuff that you're not taught in dental school. And just like us as CPAs, we weren't taught that in school as well. Right. You know, how to own a business, how it works, and the, the, just really the four business principles. You know, we talk about the four pillars of business. You know, you've got your leadership, you've got your team and your talent, you've got growth and profitability, and then you've got your, your process, the systems. You talk about it all the time, Paul. Um, right. Understand those things and how the business works. Start reading books, you know, get a mentor, start learning that stuff. Then when you do have that baby, if you will, you do buy that practice you've kind of read about it, you know about it, and it's it's not all brand new to you. Exactly. Maybe think of this, you know, I always have my trusty dream failure here in my basketball. You know, what's the stat sheet on your practice show? Because stat sheets tell you a lot about players. Doesn't mean it tells you everything, but it tells you a lot about players in the game. Uh, Bill, how about you, a tip for an associate looking to be an owner? Yeah, and I think you brought up a great analogy. So let's say you're a new parent and you're going to go out and buy a crib. Well, you're not just going to go to Target or whatever is out there and just buy a crib. You're going to understand what the features of a crib is it safe you know is it going to keep my kids safe you know can i trust it uh, or am i going to pay you know overpay for something that is a terrible product or underpay for something that's a great product you know and, and the same thing holds true with with practices is you know we say this and i think we got this from rob montgomery which we love is, is people just fall in love with practices and and they want it so bad that they never stop to, to run the tape and see, does it make sense? Is this gonna cash flow? I mean, we've seen practices that really literally after debt service, they just don't cash flow. And so, you know, the, the dollars and cents of the take home don't add up and for the risk associated. So, you know, you it's, it's exactly what Jared said, understand the business of dentistry, but, but understand the practice you're looking at too, and don't fall in love with it. If it's not the right one, there's others out there. So important. I mean, I always talk about the team and I say you guys are like the endodontist of the team talking about the specific thing, money. You know about other things, too, but it's so key to look at the cash flow. If people want to reach out to you to say, hey, help me evaluate this practice or I'm not sure my profit is, is where it should be. We have a text code. You can text CPA to 215-543-6454. But, Jared, what's the best way for them to reach out to you? And I'm going to ask you this. I'm going to ask everybody this. Tell me about that first contact, because most of the sponsors, most of the dentists, we give complimentary talks or at least find out how we can work together or a form. So how can they reach out to you and what's that first contact like? Yeah, the best way to get in contact with us is just go to our website, ducketlad.com at the top right, click the work together, you know, link and put in your information and our team will reach out and get a Zoom call on the books. That's probably the easiest way. We do have a really cool white paper out there, the five things you didn't learn in dental school um, that, that you should have learned. And, and I'll put a, that link here in the chat here in just a minute too, but that those are the two easiest ways to get with us. Awesome. You can text us. This is so key. Develop relationships early, build your team. Thanks so much guys for being part of the Nacho team. We really appreciate it. For sure. Appreciate it. it, Paul. Take care. Awesome guys. So as you see right off the bat, business leadership toppings, work with a dental focused accountant who can help you manage the cash flow in your practice. Cause I'm a medium age practice owner and that's a key every month, every week payroll, things like that. So our next guest here on business and leadership toppings is Tiffany Green from Community Dental Partners. Tiffany, share with our audience what you guys do in the dentisting world and how you help dentists. Yeah, thank you so much, Paul. So super honored to be able to talk to y'all today. So Community Dental Partners, we are a DSO providing the tools, training, and support to really set you up for success. So we really want to make sure that you're able to keep your clinical autonomy while we take care of all of the business side for you. So i um, love to open up some conversation today, Paul. And that's awesome. We're, we're going to have a clubhouse later, the new platform on should you sell to a DSO or not. I think people just need to understand what, who can buy your dental practice, why. And just like anything in life, people have bought a boat and been happy and unhappy. People sold to a DSO and been happy and unhappy. So I like to dig into this. Tell us, what does community dental partners do? Let's say I'm a practice owner. I own a practice. I sell to community dental partners. What's my life like after the sale? What if some of the people who sold shared with you is, hey, I'm really glad I don't have to deal with this so I can deal with this. Tell us a little bit about that. 
Yeah, I love that, Paul. So one of the big things about Community Dental Partners is we're all about culture. So we really make sure that we inundate all of our stuff into culture. So whenever you sell and you come and you have that, we're going to allow you to keep all of your clinical autonomy. So when it comes to like treatment planning and all of that, but all the compliance and billing and recruiting, I know that staffing is a major heartache for a lot of people right now. And we really are here to be able to support you through all of that. Um, and just talking, even our new recruits that are coming in, we have, we're looking at the holistic view of the doctor whenever they come in. So we do um, humanitarian trips. We just had a group of our doctors went to Honduras. We have all of our new docs that we're taking to Mexico. We're really just making sure that you're able to expand your clinical skills while also causing that impact throughout the world and not just having it focused on who we are here in our community. I love that. Having you guys as a sponsor for our group is so great because you provide options. What I share with is someone who helps sell practices, buy practices. It's the right solution for the right person at the right time. Sometimes yeah. a digital sale is perfect. Sometimes you probably tell people it's not the right time for you, just like we do with patients who want to whiten their teeth when they need four quadrants of scaling and root planing. We say it's not the right time for this. So yeah. you're watching this and thinking, you know what? I want to learn more about how this DSO operates. I want to just find out more. I want my advisors, like the accountants we just saw, to learn more about you. What's the best way for them to reach out to you? Yeah, absolutely, Paul. So I put in the chat our link. You can always text me directly. So um, 940-222-5005. And then I'll also pop in here. We have a guide to choosing your dental career. So it really kind of walks you through like good interview questions to ask, really setting you up for success for your career. So I'll also drop that in the chat. We always want to make sure that we're setting you up for success from the first minute that we contact you all the way through practice ownership. We have a team that we literally just had a part of our CE that our CFO and our chief growth officer walked our current associate through those steps of looking at financial sheets and how to get to practice ownership. So we are literally here from the minute we start contacting you and setting you up for success all the way through practice ownership and really making sure that we're um, getting you what you actually need. So I love that, Paul. Great value. One of the things I can share with someone, and I wouldn't have known this until I started buying practices and became a practice broker, start earlier than you think with these major life transitions. Start finding out. I mean, uh, we just talked about people will put more research into buying a stroller for their child, which they all work out pretty well, then they do their dental transition. So just take the time to find out when you're not in a place of desperation, when you're not in a place of now to do this so you can partner with the right people. We have a great text code for you, Tiffany. Uh, text CDP to 215-543-6454. Text CDP to 215-543-6454. And we can get you connected with community dental partners. I love that idea of the mission trip. Sometimes it's just the right time for dentists who worked alone for a long time just to be a part of something. That's nice for them in that part of their career. So really appreciate it, Tiffany. Thanks so much for being a great key resource and sponsor. Thanks so much, Paul. Awesome, guys. So as you found out, we talked to a dental-focused accounting team. We talked to a DSO team. Right solution, right time. Get the right advisors. What Dental Notch is here to do is to give you options, help you learn, make you aware and protect, prepared so you can protect yourself. So now we'll talk about what everyone likes to talk about, how to get patients into your office to do the things that you like to do. So uh, Parham from DocSites, no one really likes playing, paying taxes. I get it. You know, Bill and Jared are kind of like the dentists that so you have to do things you don't want to do. But tell us what DocSites does and how you, how you can make practicing more exciting and more fun by partnering with the right company. Hi, Dr. Goodman. The DocSites provides affordable and effective marketing and website solutions for dentists. And what we do is we help dentists represent and showcase their practice properly, right? We get to know the office. We get to know the dentist. What do they want to focus on? And we help them expose their practice, get more exposure. Perfect. And that's what we're looking to do. I just was on a clubhouse talk last night with a new practice owner who was getting overwhelmed by growth. So sometimes great things can cause a lot of stress in life in general. That happens all the time. Having children, going to dental school. And I said, make sure that you keep up your morale. And one of the ways to do that is to do the procedures that you enjoy doing, whether they're profitable or not. Maybe it's sleep apnea, maybe it's implants. Can doc sites help practices market for the procedures that they want to do? Absolutely. So one of the things that we actually get to know about our clients is what procedures do you want to focus on? So in early on, I've been doing dental marketing for 11 years. One of my clients really wanted to do veneers, right? Focus on veneers. So what we did is when he started building up his caseload, we started posting those veneers cases everywhere. Yelp, Google Maps. A lot of dentists miss those opportunities, posting on Google Maps, posting nice big photos. And you can even take those photos with your iPhone as long as the patient permits that, right? You could take it with your iPhone, upload it, and we will stack it up, write the story about it, 
And we started doing that. And then he started getting calls from people who were finding him saying, hey, I saw that veneers case. That's the kind of teeth I want, right? right. Yeah. Sharing your story is so much fun and key. There's so many things we do as dentists that are annoying. Showcase your awesomeness. Can you market for me for patients who open wide and don't ask if we're done yet? Is that a, is that a keyword search? I want you to start it for me. Can you open your mouth wide and don't ask where you're done yet? Well, Pennington Dental is the right place for you. So um, I think, you know, marketing makes things more fun. It's not something we review in school. So if someone's watching and thinking, I need to enhance my website. I don't even have a website. Uh, will you look at a website farm that they currently have? Tell us what you guys do when someone reaches out to you and how people can contact you. Well, we build the website on our own platform because that way it includes all our SEO. It includes all the elements that we know work really well. And we do a free demo. We go through every aspect of our websites. Do you have a dental savings plan? Is your insurance listed? I know you guys don't like insurance, but sometimes there's good ones and you yep. got to list those, right? Or, you know, everything about the dental office is your team highlighted on the site, right? Those are things that help. And then I meet so many dentists that have 100 plus five star reviews, nowhere to be found on the website. So we have a really cool Google tool that feeds in all the, all the five star reviews. And how you could reach out to us is you could go to docsites.com slash nachos and you could learn about us there and reach out to us directly over there. Or you could text me directly, 818-421-8626. And you could say, hey, Parham, jump on a call. We don't harass you. I'm not a salesperson. I don't live off commission. I'm one of the owners. So what you get is a lot of education, 11 years of dental marketing experience. And I'll help you. I'll show you how to do things for free. Just yesterday, I helped a dentist. They didn't become a client. Help them with their Google Maps. And they were super thankful and that's, you know, so great. And that's such the nacho way parham is just deliver value to people so they can learn something maybe they'll become a customer later maybe they'll never become one maybe they'll tell someone about you but you just enjoy delivering value we all do this and that's why all the companies here plus things i do in my dental office we're always sharing with people what we can do at no cost in your dental office that might be over the phone sometimes that might be a teledentistry consult free implant consult but take the time to find out and just like the theme here Start early. Do it before you buy the practice so you're ready to know what you need to do with marketing. You can text DocSites to 215-543-6454. Parham, you guys are awesome. I really would like you to just go right from this call and put keyword search open wide and don't ask if we're done yet. I want all those patients. I don't care what they need. So see if you can get that from me. Let's do it. Thanks, Parham. Have a great day. You too. So as you guys can see, we're learning about the business and leadership toppings they don't teach you in dental school how money works, what is a DSO, how to market. Our next person coming up to a business and leadership toppings, whenever she is ready, is going to talk to you about one of the most frustrating things in the dental world is when you do work and you don't get paid for it. So if I sell a toothbrush and I don't get paid for it, it's not that frustrating because I did not handcraft the toothbrush, okay? But I handcraft the filling, the crown, the implant crown. And if you don't get paid for it, it's very, very frustrating. Calls you to feel like this. So I have here Kimberly from Compassionate Finance and Abella. Kimberly, tell us how you help people not feel like this on the inside. Sure, yeah. We help dentists help uh, collect more money faster, be more efficient in their office, and just generate some consistent revenue um, without their team you know, having to do unwanted tasks. Um, so it's kind of a win-win for everybody there. And we have recently adopted using compassionate finance. We've always given different options for our patients, but I found it's just incredibly flexible. And it's again, the right thing for the right person at the right time. Walk us through, you're a dentist, you add compassionate finance to your practice. What kind of impact can that have for your practice? Sure. So with Compassionate Finance, we really help organizations approve um, more patients to fill chair time, do more comprehensive dentistry, and just do more treatment for people that would particularly maybe walk out your door because they can't, you know, afford the treatment or they need to um, look at other options. You're able to keep them in at the time of, you know, talking with them about their treatment to get them to say yes. It's so important because, you know, some patients in our office want to pay in full and get a courtesy. 
Other people want to stretch out over a long time so they can eat. I mean, we need to really be proud right. that we're selling help as dentists, selling people the ability to chew and smile with confidence. And when you reframe things and learn that, hey, there are companies like Compassionate Finance that will help your patients make comfortable payments. And even if they have to pay interest, they still get teeth. You think about it, what's more important than getting teeth? And we're used to doing this with other products. So now tell me this, Kimmy. So I know my front desk team, they're great. I love my team. But sometimes I bring in a new, new idea and they're not like, awesome, Paul, new idea. They're like, how does this work? What does it do? Do we need it? If people reach out to you guys. I know you can text Compassion to 215-543-6454. You give a complimentary trial, but just walk us through how people can get started learning more and what happens when they do this demo. Yeah, so we're going to um, drop some links in the chat for you guys. Um, we are doing that 30-day trial and, um, you know, you can reach out to me directly and we'll do, set up a demo. We'll walk you through it. We'll, we'll get your staff involved to make sure that everyone's on the same page because, you know, we're able to really help you guys capitalize on um, that deep subprime market that maybe, you know, just they need this option. They need an affordable payment plan. Sure. Um, and we're seeing this really be more relevant in the industry now more than ever. Yeah. I, I mean, I, even me, you know, when I first brought this to my team, I said, let's, I always say, let's test this out. Test don't guess my, and one of my favorite people in my life, Kate, I, mean, I think you've talked to her. She said to me, I don't think we need this. And I say, Kate, let's do what we do. Let's test it out. And now she, I say, what are they using? She said, compassionate finance. I said, oh, I thought we didn't need it. And she smiles, rolls her eyes a bit too, but smiles <laughs> because we're able to help people. It's always, if it right. doesn't help, it doesn't matter. So it's just a great way to make the financial discussion more authentic, more genuine, give people more options. I'm so glad I'm using it. Love having you guys as a key resource and sponsor. How can people mm -hmm. reach out to you guys directly, Kimberly, if they want to learn more? They can go to our website, compassionatefinance.com, um, and they can um, email me directly as well. Um, we'll drop that in the chat, or I will if, if Allison doesn't have it. But my direct line is 817-925-8663. You can text me, um, and we can set something up to discuss it more. Awesome, Kimberly. Thanks so much. Just text Compassion at 215-543-6454. JDD, just do the demo. You're going to like it. Get, get your office set up for success by using it. I'm so glad I'm using it. Thanks so much, Kimberly. Awesome. Thanks, Paul. So we talked about here as we're going along, we've talked a lot about how money works in a practice, how to collect money, how to bring people in. But uh, dentistry is like a football team with no bench. It's like fantasy football. When your person was injured, you had nobody to put off the bench. So it's a real challenge. It's a real cry inside thing. So Trey, what do you do to help dental offices cry less inside and get that team on the field so they can go out there and class to their dreams, do like their dreams, like they always wanted to. Hey Paul, thanks for having us again. Um, great question. So basically we are the opposite of a staffing agency or a job board. So we're an online and app-based marketplace where dental offices can find dental staff, they can message dental staff and they can even book them on demand. So it's kind of like Uber, you have, you're, you're short uh, a hygienist, you go on the app, you book someone using their live schedule, they confirm the assignment, they show up, they do the work, they get paid. So it's great for Tim, and it's also great for permanent hires too, because you, you're kind of like at, a, at an all you can eat nacho buffet. You can just try out as many tips as you want and then hire someone at no extra fee. I mean, the, the pandemic basically took the most annoying job ever running a dental office. And like, we're going to layer on some more annoyance because now people are taking time out from the office to deal with. COVID related issues. They may not even have it. They may know someone. There's so many different rules. So you can use cloud dentistry to do that. Walk me through it. I'm a practice owner. That happens. My hygienist says, hey, I'm going to go wine tasting for three months. I'll be back in three months. I reach out to cloud dentistry. A, how do I pay for this service? And B, can my anyone on my team use it to like my office manager to find a hygienist for us? Yeah. So what's, what's really cool about cloud dentistry is that there's no cost to, to creating your account. You can go to clouddentistry.com, create your account, and you'll immediately be able to see all of the staff that are in your area. These are registered dental professionals. We've verified their licenses. They've all specified how far they're willing to travel. So you're only going to see professionals that are willing to travel to your office and they all have live schedules. And so it makes it super easy to kind of just get set up and see who's in your area. So we tell offices, look, use us as your first line of defense. We're not always gonna have um, staff available on the day that you need staff. I mean, we, we've done close to 2000 bookings this last month. So we have a pretty good batting average, but sometimes we won't be able to kind of follow through for you guys. So use this as, a, as, a, as kind of like a first line of defense. You go onto the site, you find someone that you want, and they have a live schedule, you book them and you're done. They show up, they do the work, they get paid. Now, I know my dentist people. 
there's a special hashtag for them, dentist cheap, okay? So they <laughs> I'm paying for stuff, okay? If you ask me how much I would pay not the crime side, quite a bit, but how much do I pay as an office to utilize the service? Yeah, so it's kind of like iTunes, but for staffing. So with iTunes, you pay one flat monthly fee and you get unlimited access to all the songs that you want. Same concept, but with staff. And so dental offices, depending on what type of staff you're looking for and what length of plan you're looking to, to, to commit to, you can go as low as like $40 per month, all the way up to $150 per month, $170 well, per month. Our month. have access, not the client side. It's quite a great deal. And if somebody's watching who is a team member, can they reach out to you to be on the platform? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we are really empowering the dental professionals to build thriving careers. Um, a lot of dental professionals, you know, might work four days out of the week, but they have one or two extra days where they can make some extra money, get exposure to other offices and see if there's a good cultural fit there. Um, so it's, it's all the same. You go to cloudindustry.com, you create your profile as a dental professional. Uh, you tell us when you want to work, how much you want to make, and how far you're willing to travel. And then you start getting booked by offices and start receiving messages from them. I say this a lot with mentorship for dentists. And I know you, you know, have an attorney life. Attorneys tend to work more in person with each other pre-pandemic, but a lot of times dentists feel alone. So I say you always need a friend in your phone you can text. And as practice owners, I want our associates to text us. Mrs. Smith does not want a crown. What should we do? Blah, blah. So I think cloud dentistry should be that friend in your phone because you can't anticipate some of these team needs. And it's just so key to have this access. So uh, text cloud to 215-543-6454. They set up a special sponsor landing page for us. But if people just pop by now, Trey, how could they reach out to you directly? Uh, direct to me would be my email, just Trey at clouddentistry.com uh, and go to, the web, go to the website to sign up, www.clouddentistry.com. Awesome, Trey. Well, thanks for being an awesome sponsor. What you guys are doing to connect people and make things less fry for dentists is just truly awesome. I truly support it. Absolutely. Thank you, Paul. Take care. Awesome, guys. So we've learned team, money, uh, marketing. Now, what about what you do inside your operatory? So there's this material, alginate, that is the most annoying material ever invented in the history of dentistry. You have to pour it up right away. The model breaks. You have to take another impression. Sometimes people put it back in the lab and then leave it there and never pour it up. So Kent Keatenbach, one of my favorite companies on earth, sells algin alternative silgen, which I've been using for years. They sell a ton of other things as well, but I always just like to give them a shout out because we take hundreds of impressions a week, zero algin. Algin is banned in our office. We do not use it. We don't have a model pour upper thing. I don't know if that's the word for it, but it's out of the office. So I'm here with Ryan from Kettenbach. Ryan, share with us what Kettenbach does to help Dennis de-stress and how people can reach out to you guys. Sure, thank you, Dr. Goodman. So Kettenbach really designs our products with the clinician in mind. Uh, three things that kind of stand out about our stuff is that it's easy to use, it's high performing, and it's predictable. Meaning that if you're about to take that final impression and you see some fluid in and around the sulcus, you can be confident that you're gonna get that, that perfect margin every time. Um, we also train our, our reps to become valuable uh, consultants in the office and product knowledge experts. So, um, you know, they can go into your office and do a cost analysis for you, let you know uh, what, what products are really going to truly benefit you in your practice. And oh, by the way, we only sell direct to your practice. So on average, uh, our customers save about 30% over the products that they're currently using in the office. And I love that, Ryan. So I've talked a lot about my failed dreams of playing here in the NBA. Uh, this is also child's basketball. I can't pound with basketball. Just want to be authentic. But Dan, your CEO, he did set up a buying group. So every day my wife wakes up, Ryan, you know what she says? First thing, lucky to know you, Paul. Just kidding. Not the first thing. But you're lucky to know us because as a sponsor, Kettenbach has set up a buying group where you can get the lowest price possible for being in the Dental Notches community at no extra cost to you. You can text buying to 215 543 6454 to join that buying group and learn how you can save like other nachos. Now you have an impression behind you, Ryan. What material is that? So this is our bread and butter. It's, uh, it's our Panasil, uh, Tray Soft Heavy and Extra Light wash material. Uh, this is our, our kind of our bread and butter of our polyvinyl siloxane line. Yeah, we use Panasil in our office. We use Silgenot, Kettenbach. It just has so many resources for you to decrease that annoyance. And I, you know, I, you guys will give out free sales not to try it. And I tell you, just test it. One of the dental nachos earlier said, Paul, I'm so upset. We've tried Silgenot and now this is all my assistants want to use and they're happy. I go, I think you've used the word upset wrong dentist. 
you should use the word happy because it's going to save you money, save your time, save you time and help your system. And in all seriousness, it's just one of the ways to make you feel less like this and more like this. So we use their whole impression material line. Ryan, you guys are awesome partners here. Anything else you'd like to add about Kettenbach before we uh, jump off? Well, I just want to say, Paul, and I don't know if you're using children in, in the bulk packaging. We are now. Uh, yeah. machines, but uh, we do have a special with uh, nachos. Uh, typically, the, uh, the qualifying amount to get a free machine to dispense that material and also any other trade material uh, is about 1800 retail. But uh, for you guys, we do it for 1200 So for $1,200, what's that? $1,200 in material that you use, you get a machine. That's awesome. Tell my team, yeah. I want another free machine. So eventually I actually did go because I'm a little stubborn sometimes from the gun to the machine. And now I like the machine. It saves you money. And it also, you don't have to use, you know, your hand strength as much. So just spend $1,200 at a nacho nuts price for all this stuff and get yourself a free machine thingy. I don't know if that's what they call it, but that's what I call it. Get us another machine thingy. So Ryan, Love that. Great deal. How can people reach out to you directly if they just want to learn more about what you do and what Kettenbach does? Well, first on the website, you can just Google Kettenbach or, or go to kettenbach.com uh, slash US. Um, personally, they can contact me via phone or text at 704-996-4711 or rdocmore at kettenbachusa.com. And I'll put that in the chat uh, once I'm off. Awesome. One Thanks. last, yeah. One last thing is that uh, I, I want to stress that we do sell just direct, and we stand behind our materials 100%. So uh, if you do try something and don't love it for whatever reason, uh, we have an unconditional guarantee, and we'll take it back, no questions asked. So. That's awesome. Really, really great. You guys, it's great. You embody the nacho spirit and fun in in saving money, uh, having you know decreasing stress. We really appreciate it, Ryan. Thank you. Thanks so much. Um, as we bring our next guests to the stage, you just remember these business leadership toppings. Take this content piece, have your team watch it, have your office manager watch about how to increase collections. Maybe have your marketing person watch about websites, connect with accounts. I know you met so many great people here along the way. And now we have Shane, uh, my close friend, awesome sponsor. He's running a show, Success Stories with Shane on the Dental Nachos Group, which is great. But Shane, share with us what you do in your everyday dentisting enhancement life to help dentists be happier and less stressed. Yeah, thanks for having me, Paul. So we are about generating new patients for the dental practice. So that way they can have some sense of certainty in their office if maybe they want to make a new investment in the practice. And, you know, they're not sure if whether or not they're going to have the funds in a few months to, to be able to pull that off or invest in a new team member. Whatever the case is, a lot of that comes back to making sure that your new patient flow is in check, is in order, that you have a system that you can generate new patients online. And that's what we do at Crimson Media. And, and let me tell you, it's, it's been a, a great start to 2021 for us because we're getting a lot of emails from practices saying, you know, listen, we're having one of our best months we've ever had. You know, let's keep it up. Let's keep adding up the, the different ads that we're doing. Let's put more budget into that. Let's do more on social media. And that's something that can be a reality in your dental practice as well. You just got to be able to uh, build out a plan, stick to that plan and create an omnipresence in your community. And that's what we help dentists do online. And that's really just so awesome to do during this time. And the pandemic has streamlined the need to share videos, to share more pictures, things we should have done anyway, because that's how you really create you know, the word of mouth online and pick things that you like to do. Shane, do you recommend your, your clients use video, whether it's through Facebook ads, their website or things like that, to kind of share the fun of what happens in their office. Absolutely. And, and that's one of the things that I always tell people is, listen, if you record a video of, you know, maybe it's just a patient testimonial coming in and saying how great of an experience that they had and they don't like going to the dentist because let's be honest, most people, you know, are super excited when they go to the dentist. So maybe you just get a quick little video having them share their experience and how relaxed and, and fun and it was. And then what you can do is every single person who visits your website you can then show them that video on their Instagram, on their Facebook, via Facebook retargeting. And that's something that's really powerful and starts to generate, like you had mentioned, referrals that so-and-so will see that who's been going to your practice for five years and say, 
hey, you know, they'll tag their friends. You should go see this person, like this dentist. They are amazing. They do an amazing job. And so definitely recording video and then being able to say that you are visible when someone goes to Google and does a search, because let's be honest, what do they say? The best place to hide a dead body is on the second page of Google. You don't want to be on the second page of Google. You want to be in the first page in the top spots so you get the majority of the traffic and you can help more patients. So, so key to do. So if people want to reach out to you, Shane, to learn what Crimson Media does to enhance their online presence or just get started, what's the best way for them to do that? Yeah, Paul, the best way would be to go to our website, which is crimsonmediagroup.com. And you can actually schedule a time with us there. There's a spot when you schedule to say, how did you hear about us? Just put Paul Goodman and Dental Nachos in there. And for anybody that Paul sends to us in the Dental Nachos group, we're actually doing a free marketing analysis for those practice owners. So we'll give you an idea of where you're at as far as with your online marketing, what the competition looks like, what ads are your competitors running. And we'll do that analysis for you for absolutely free uh, if you put Dental Nachos as your referral source. Awesome. Thanks, Dan. You're an awesome key resource sponsor and friend. You can text Crimson to 215-543-6454. We'd be happy to connect you with them. Shane, keep your video on. If any of my awesome uh, guests are still here, just turn your video on. We're going to have a post-game show, right? We're going to interview on the post-game BLT show. It's March Madness time. Will Villanova win again? I don't know. Very successful, the college I went to. Must be boring, winning all those championships as, as a Villanova fan. So what I like to ask for anyone who's still here, you're welcome to put your video on is nothing about you. And I want to hear anything more about your company. I've had enough, right? But I want to hear about somebody else that you saw and you said, ah, I didn't even know that was a thing. That would really help my client. That's an interesting story. I've always wondered about that. And I got some insight because asking for feedback is so key when it happens to see what kind of impact you're making, whether it's a review for your office, whether it's making sure people have digested EBITDA. I don't know. Do you guys understand EBITDA? I just say EBITDA. I'm not sure if I understand it. You know, we don't have 18 hours to go over EBITDA right now, but one day we will. We'll just be, we'll go over each letter, five hours per letter. Okay. So uh, let me start with you, Tiffany. You can unmute yourself. You saw some people sharing here. Uh, anything that you learned on this business and leadership topic or anything you found interesting from one of the other uh, guests? Yeah, love that. I love that we are setting dentists up for success and providing them support from like the finance side. If you don't understand your numbers or have somebody that does, that's going to really like not be good for you. So even though you're always focused on the clinical side, I love that we have people here to support, to talk about the business side and really setting you up for success. It's such a key point. Without the number side, you don't get to do the clinical part. Rob, they've mentioned Rob Montgomery, my great friend. I usually do most of the jo jokes, but Rob has a few good ones. And you know, he said, if you sign a bad lease and you don't have an office, it's called dental office. It's not just called dental. It's one of his best jokes. Give him a compliment. So when you are doing something in your practice, if you don't have enough money to keep the doors open, you cannot help anyone. And it's just something we should talk more authentically about. Thanks for sharing, Tiffany. You can welcome to keep your video on still. We're going to around here. Ryan, how about you? I'll go to Ryan next. Well, generically, uh, you know, without being able to attend uh, trade shows and, and large events over the past 12 plus months now, um, you kind of uh, lose sight of the many uh, different resources that are out there for dentists and their practices. And uh, you hit the nail on the head and, and uh, value, I think, was the, the word of the day. Um, you know, so many talented people on this call and, 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 and the one in December, I, I, I reviewed that one too before today, but, um, I, you know, I'm just, uh, excited to, to get back into sort of an arena of camaraderie and, uh, and, and, and waiting to, uh, to, to meet these folks and others back at the next trade show, whenever that might be. And, uh, I love that. And you kind of brought up a good point. Like I would say dentists are people too. And you know what you guys do are people. Too. So if someone stopped me on the street and like, where's the Liberty Bell? I got to kind of answer, right? Nobody pays me to answer. I'm not the tour guide of Philadelphia, but if you can solve a problem for a person, it makes you feel good and also lets you move on. So you never know who asks you, hey, Ryan, you're my impression material person, but I don't have a hygienist. At least you know there's an opportunity to do something like that. I, that's just why I do all this connecting because you guys are in the know. And oftentimes, you know, it's probably a topic for another show on the psychology of dentists, they will tell you guys things. They won't tell their friends or family sometimes. I mean, especially their accountants. So it's just key. Thanks. Thanks so much, Ryan. Trey, how about you? Uh, anything you learned or anything you wanted to share uh, from the show? Yeah. So as, as an outsider, so I'm a, I'm a lawyer by trade. So I kind of look at it with a different set of eyes sometimes. And what, what, what strikes me is just how 
freaking complicated it is to run a dental practice. And I, and I see all these different resources here. And I'm, I'm like, wow, like literally a dental practice would need all of this to be able to run their practice well, right? Um, or, or, or an option like Tiffany, which is why I think there's kind of two sides of the coin here, that we have a lot of kind of do-it-yourself do type options. Uh, and then Tiffany, you know, has a great resource for going the DSO route. And I think, um, you know- I'm glad you said that. You know, one of the things my dad- are going for that. My, own, my own dad was such a great person, leader, and just so authentic that he would say, being a dentist has always been tough. Doing a crown is a crown, your team, but it's be, he, at, towards the end of his life and career, he said, it should become so complicated to run an office. He did it for 40 years. And I think parenting is the same way. People kind of nostalgically say, we let our kids in the 80s go outside and play. Oh yeah, there was nothing else to do, right? There was no iPads, there was no games. So we sometimes forget that when things get more complex, it comes with advantages, but it comes with a lot of stress. And I think pointing that out as an attorney is just so key. So we can kind of support our dental people and know what we're going, going through. Um, Shane, how about you? Yeah, you know, one of the things that I thought was just really interesting was this, uh, the, the cloud dentistry platform. Uh, I wasn't aware of it previously, but it's just funny how the timing works out because I just had a client this morning who sent me an email. She was like, my hygienist just left and our hygiene schedule is completely full. Do you have any suggestions? I have no idea you know, what I'm going to do or how I'm going to find someone. And you know, a platform like cloud dentistry, you know, I learned is that's a real pain point in the marketplace is especially with, with hygienists is how in the world do you find a good hygienist these days? So I think that's a really cool platform and something I would love to see continue to grow in popularity because everything becomes easier on this device, right? Online, you can find anything on here. Why not be able to find uh, good team members or people who can come in and, and fill a role? So I thought that was really neat. And I'll definitely be passing the word along on, on cloud dentistry. Thanks, Amy. It's a real point. I want to tell you a story about somebody who's about to cry inside. Uh, this person has an amazing babysitter who's helped uh, his children during the pandemic and she's moving to San Diego. She's actually there now looking at places. So he feels like crying inside. Spoiler alert, that person is me. That is me. I'm that person. So we are now trying to find someone else to help the moderators. And as you guys know, that is a key person in your life for so many reasons. And you use word of mouth and you use sittercity.com. And dentistry needs more of this because the team that you have to put together to run your dental practice each day is totally insane. The number of human beings that have to come in to get you through the day is so difficult. Um, let's wrap up with my uh, friends, Bill and Jared. They started us off. Jared, what'd you learn on this call or this show that you thought, oh, that's pretty cool, or maybe something you could share with the client or just value you'd like to share? Yeah, for sure. I'll hit on you know what, what Shane does and what he was talking about there with Crimson Media. I mean, we hear all the time, you know, dentists are, are looking for new patient flow and how do they do it? And you might see the dentist trying to figure out some SEO or Google AdWords stuff. And I mean, that's not their cup of tea. They don't need to focus on that. They need to outsource that to somebody who specializes in it. So I thought, you know, a lot of what Shane says and, and like to get, you know, maybe visit with you and see a little bit more about what you do, you know, tactical wise. But I thought that was huge. It's so interconnected, too, because people will go to their accountant and you guys don't have a magic wand. I need to wait, make more money. Right. Well, you need to bring in more money. And, you know, just like we're Shane, someone says, I'm bringing in these implant cases, but my profit stinks. They need to talk to people like you so we can look at this kind of this total body dental fitness, which is not an easy thing to do. And they don't talk about uh, Bill. How about you? Yeah, I agree 100%. And I think you're exactly right. And that would be my my point is that it is a very interconnected world and, and finding the right partners is huge because we start talking about the numbers and patient flow is bad. You know, they have no idea what to do on marketing. Neither do we. And we're not going to tell them what to do because we stay in our lane and we have no idea. You know, they're, they have trouble with staffing. You know, somebody is going down a maternity leave or whatever you know, then there's an opportunity to, to make connections there. You know, materials are too high or maybe they just don't want to deal with anymore and they want to get out. And then all of a sudden a DSO. So, I mean, it, it, it's all connected. And if you have good relationships with your clients, you're right. They will tell you more than they'll tell their spouse sometimes. And and our we look at our job as trying to make connections. If we can make a connection that, that helps somebody, then that that's a win for, for all of us. I and I think there's a lot of good people in here to do just that. And it's just always a right solution, right time, right person thing. You know, as much as a system person I am, it's about making decisions at the right moment, who you sell to, when you're going to invest. If someone said, I'm going to invest $100,000 in marketing next year, I'd say, tell me more about it. Maybe that's the right move for you. I only bring in $300,000. Maybe you should talk to Bill and Jared about how money works. Because <laughs> that's a lot of percentage, right? But maybe they bring in $2 million and they just added sleep at me. So thrilled if you guys would just drop back and share with each other in the chat so you guys can connect on your own calls. I love doing this. Thanks for a great show, guys. Really, really appreciate it. 
Um, I'll wrap us up here and share numbers with each other so you guys can get connected and learn more about what each other does. Thanks so much. Awesome, guys. So that was an amazing business and leadership popping show. If you'd like to learn more about what we do at Dental Nachos, you can visit us at dentalnachos.com. You can text us at 215-543-6454. If you would like to be featured on business and leadership toppings, you can email salsa at dentalnachos.com or sponsors at dentalnachos.com. We want to make this an ABC world where we're we'll always be, always be connected, always be caring, always be supporting each other. I'm going to turn my video off. We'll leave this up for a minute or two so people can connect. But thanks as always for being here. I really appreciate it.